John and Kate Plus 8 debuted in 2007, featuring a family of toddler sextuplets and their older twin sisters. Over a decade later, and after a bitter divorce, the family appears to be thriving amidst the drama. So what's up with Colin, Joel, Aiden, Hannah, Alexis, Leah, Kara, and Maddie now? Here's what we know about the Gosselin gang. Before TLC cameras started rolling in the Gosselin house, capturing every tantrum and marital spat, John and Kate Gosselin only recorded special occasions like their wedding day in 1999. Kate told Good Housekeeping in 2008, "...life was a lot more simple back then, that's for sure, but not as fulfilling as our lives today." The couple met at a corporate picnic at a hotel where John was working. Kate had agreed to go with a friend, recalling, "...there was this guy walking across the grass. He caught my attention. I was like, I'm not leaving here today until I meet him." We were the couple that people always said, like, we were sickening sweet. Are you recording? Yes, Kate, look at the red light. <laughs> Merry Christmas. But as fans know, the couple would later succumb to the stress of starring on a reality show with eight young children. Kate and I have decided to separate. I'm not very fond of the idea personally. After 10 years of marriage and at the height of their reality TV fame, John and Kate's divorce became official in 2009. At the time, people reported on rumors that John was allegedly cheating while Kate was traveling for speaking engagements. Upon filing for divorce, Kate seemed to confirm the buzz with a statement that read, "...John's activities have left me no choice but to file legal procedures in order to protect myself and our children. As always, my first priority remains our children." But John's statement shifted the focus over to Kate. He said, "...this afternoon Kate filed for divorce. Our kids are still my number one priority. My job is being the best, most supportive and loving father that I can be to my kids, and not being married to Kate doesn't change that." Unfortunately for the Gosling kids, an amicable arrangement was nearly impossible for their parents. Hannah was the first of the little kids to land in the middle of an individual custody battle between her parents. According to E!, John filed for full custody of Hannah in May 2015, with a source alleging to the outlet, "...Hannah has expressed she is unhappy and uncomfortable in the house with Kate." No one really pop. wants to be on mommy's team. That's wrong! She's way too competitive. Say that! But the dispute took a drastic turn in 2017, according to an In Touch report, which revealed an alleged physical altercation. As Hannah was supposed to leave her father's care and go with her mother, Kate reportedly tried to force Hannah out of John's car. Hannah allegedly, quote, "...screamed, sobbed, and violently resisted." The alleged incident was apparently witnessed by police, who called an ambulance after Hannah complained of an injury to her arm. John explained on the First Class Fatherhood podcast in early 2020 that while he had primary custody of Hannah, at the time, he and Kate allow the kids to make their own decision on custody. Because they're over 14 in Pennsylvania, custody is up to them. Hannah later told the Daily Mail that year, "...my dad has been there for me and Colin no matter what. He's been a very loving and supportive dad throughout everything." To say that John and Kate's custody battles have been a roller coaster ride would be an understatement, particularly when it comes to their son, Colin. In 2016, Kate told People that Colin had, quote, "...special needs," adding, "...I enrolled him in a program that is helping him learn the skills he needs to be the best him he can be." He needs to be in an environment to help him learn the skills and gain the insight that he needs to be the best Colin that he can be. But John saw it differently, telling Dr. Oz in 2019 that Colin was, quote, "...wrongfully institutionalized, but because John only had physical custody and not legal custody of his kids, it took him more than two years to find Colin and even longer to get him out of the facility." John further alleged, "...Kate institutionalized him without a diagnosis and then created a diagnosis." John claimed that he only located Colin because of a note that Colin's roommate snuck to John's manager. In the letter, per the Daily Mail, Colin claimed he told his mom that he wanted to live with his dad, but Kate allegedly refused to agree to his request. Colin also alleged in written form that Kate had abused him. John was awarded full custody of Colin in 2018 when Kate and her lawyers didn't attend the custody hearing, according to Us Weekly. John told First Class Fatherhood in 2020 that Kate isn't allowed to contact Colin and that there is no communication between Colin and the six siblings that live with Kate. In 2020, John appeared on The Dr. Oz Show to explain the circumstances that led Colin to make a now-deleted Instagram post claiming that John physically abused him. When Dr. Oz asked John if he's ever physically hurt his kids, John said no, adding, "...I raise my voice. I do get angry, but I've never been violent with my children at all."
Multiple sources, including The Dr. Oz Show and Entertainment Tonight, obtained a letter from Pennsylvania Children and Youth Services, which stated that Colin's accusations of abuse at his father's hands were, quote, unfounded. So why would he go public with such serious claims? John explained that after a disagreement between him and his son, Colin was blackmailing me to change my parental decision. John and Kate's oldest daughters, twins Maddie and Kara, are now 20-something college co-eds. Although they haven't publicly confirmed their universities, Fordham University's site states that Maddie attends Syracuse University and Kara is enrolled at Fordham. When they're not at school, they presumably live with their mother and they don't appear to want any contact with John. Maddie told People in 2016, he makes it seem like we're being kept from him, which is insane. He should maybe spend some time thinking about why we don't want to see him and maybe realize that if he ever does want a relationship with us, talking about us on TV is not the way to make that happen. I'm sorry. I don't accept your apology. I had to. We shall rematch. In 2020, John said on The Dr. Oz Show that he hadn't seen the six children that live with their mom, including Maddie and Kara, since 2018, revealing, I don't know what's going on with Maddie and Kara because I don't have any communication with them. I've reached out a couple times to see if they wanted to grab coffee, but I've heard nothing back. Four of the Goslin little kids, Alexis, Aiden, Leah, and Joel, live with Kate. They don't have social media accounts, and recent pictures of them are rare, even on Kate's Instagram account. So they've been spending their time out of the spotlight since Kate's show's wrapped. But they celebrated their 16th birthdays on May 10th, 2020, and had a very sweet special request. Kate posted to Instagram, Happy 16th birthday to my half a dozen Hershey Kisses, as they were called at birth. They requested junk cereals for their birthday lunch, so I got a bit carried away as usual and got them 21 different kinds. John also wished all of the kids happy birthday on Instagram, writing, Happy 16th birthday to Hannah and Colin. I miss you, Leah, Joel, Alexis, and Aiden. I hope your 16th birthday is just as memorable. Been a long road. I wish you all the best. Wow, 16. Love you all. Have you noticed? I'm single for the last decade. Kate hasn't been seen on TV since her TLC show, Kate Plus Date Wrapped, in 2019. She ultimately did not find love on the show and was still single as of 2019, according to Radar Online. She told Fox News around the same time that she's unsure if she'll ever get married again, explaining, I don't like the M word. Everybody keeps saying that, and that actually gives me, like, anxiety and panic, honestly. But she appears to have bigger issues to worry about. In 2020, the U.S. Sun reported that Kate was, quote, struggling with money and listed her home for $815,000, a significant drop from its $1.2 million price tag back in 2008. The listing was later dropped even further to an estimated $585,100. Plus, earlier in the year, Radar Online reported that Kate was allegedly fired from TLC after being found in contempt of court for allowing Leah, Joel, Aiden, and Alexis to appear on camera without legal work permits. Do they enjoy filming the show? I think they like the activities they do, but I think she ruins it. She ruins, like, the fun part of it. John told Dr. Oz that when Hannah called Kate on Hannah's birthday in 2020, quote, her mom pretty much hung up on her. And as for Colin, he says, in five years, Kate has had an hour and a half of contact with him. John has been in a committed relationship with his girlfriend, nurse practitioner Colleen Conrad, for years. And from a 2019 post on John's Instagram account, John, Hannah, Colin, Colleen, and her two kids can be seen happily celebrating the holidays together. But the following year was more complicated for the blended family. In 2020, John described his life-threatening experience with COVID-19, including a 10-day hospital stint, during which he lost 17 pounds. He shared with Dr. Oz, I didn't know how bad it was until I met with my doctor. He said one more day and I probably would have been put on a ventilator. I was just more concentrating on getting better and going home. As for his relationships with his kids, John laments his estrangement from the twins and four of the younger kids, but he still says the siblings bond with each other always takes precedent. He said on the show, I want all the kids to communicate with each other, love each other, do things together, and hopefully down the road that will work out. We are wishing this family all the best as they navigate their complex dynamic and heal their relationships as best they can. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.